You know, a soldier who lost his leg in combat was on a ski slope a couple of months later. Former Army Staff Sergeant Dan Nevins did so with the help of the Wounded Warrior Project, and he's helping other injured vets enjoy life again. I'm laying flat on my back, and one leg's amputated, and the other one's in traction with pins holding it together. And uh, they say, hey, we're going to go skiing next month. We want you to come. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I lost a leg. Did you lose your eyes? Can you not see, you know, what you're dealing with here? And they, they said no. So now it's my greatest joy to be able to walk into a Walter Reed or a Brook Army Medical Center to that person who's lost a leg or both legs and walk in with pants on with no hitch in my gait and walk in and say, hey, I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. And as soon as I see that, that, that look, they give me that look of, hey, you have no idea what I'm going through. And that's when I tell them, you know, six years ago was exactly where you are and I have two prosthetics, and no one notices that I do. And I just climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, I'm gonna climb Aconcagua next year. Um, there's nothing that I can't do, and there's gonna be nothing that you can't do. You know, you listen to that and you think that you, you got problems and, and then you go, no, no, I don't. I don't. Look what that man was able to go through. This Veterans Day, I'll examine what life is really like for U.S. troops and their families. Don't miss my Salute to Troops Stories of Courage. That's this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern on HLN.